So last time we uh, started with the uh, orientation and uh, about CAMC. Now we continue our lecture on uh, computer networks. And uh, uh, this week uh, we'll try to touch up subnetting of network. And uh, next uh, weeks we will have variable scale subnet mask and virtual local area network. And uh, for the sixth, we have routing technologies and uh, switching technologies and server load balancing. For lesson two, so we started already with uh, network hardware and software. And now we move forward to the network systems. And with this, uh, we'll have a three uh, module for the laboratory that will be done online using a packet tracer. Yeah, there's uh, some definitions uh, last uh, last lecture that you need to consider reading and uh, finish on this side. This is about the processing of uh, CPU in the computer. These are the input components, the process components, the von Neumann architecture, and the output devices of the computer. Now we start with the computer network types. So there are uh, three network types. You have the local area network, the metropolitan area network, and the wide area network. So we start with the uh, local area network. So local area network are peripheral device in a limited physical area, such as business office, laboratory, or college campus by means of uh, links and wires, internet cable, fiber optics that transmit uh, data rapidly. So these are, uh, as you can see, we have a coffee shop, uh, uh, and some uh, restaurants, they have a local area network. And these are uh, used to communicate with the cash register and other information of the inventory and stocks of stock of and now we have uh, okay i added one of your classmates And now we have uh, uh, the types of uh, local area networks. So these are discussed on your networking tool. So just uh, have to review this. You have to read on this. We have the types of LAN. We have the Ethernet, the token ring, the token bus, and the fiber distributed data interface. And uh, these are uh, uh, local area network are uh communicate uh, with the uh, server for example we have this uh four computers on figure five uh uh there is a computer uh, which connects to the uh server and this server feeds also information at the same time, when uh, the computer uh, would like to connect to the another PC or a computer, uh, it would uh, simply uh, be controlled by the server. And if it allows, the server allows the connection to another computer or remote access. So it would be easy for both uh, to connect. And with this, uh, with this uh, configuration, uh, when uh, there are only like four computers that are connected, these are uh, we call a local area network. Now, in some instances, we have uh, this computer as uh, they use as a, a disk, uh, diskless uh, computer where all computer uses all the storage, all the application 
uh, in this uh, server. So, for example, if you're going to use uh, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, PowerPoint, or other applications like uh, programming language, so you don't have a physical uh, storage device in your workstation, what you have is only uh, a small uh, CPU box that connected to the server which all of the applications and uh, software are being accessed through the server. So this is what we call a disk class uh, uh, computer and all of the necessary uh, resources are being stored in the server. Now, if you going to connect to another workstation, if uh, the storage doesn't have enough uh, amount so you have another secondary uh, server that will compensate if the server is not going to work uh, example if this uh, uh, happens that uh, this one unable to uh, uh, gather all the programs and software so you have another uh, server server 2 to uh, handle those uh, applications so this one uh, ethernet is wired this is made by fiber and this one uh, mostly uh, using uh, before was a telephone wire but now uh, ethernet is being used as talking ring and token bus Now for the second uh, network type, we have the metropolitan uh, area network, which covers the large uh, area than that of a uh, LAN. So in a smaller area as compared to wide area network, uh, it connects uh, two or more computers that are part, that are apart, but uh, resides in the same different cities and it covers a large geographical area and may serve as an internet ser service provider uh, man is designed for customers who uh, need uh, high s speed uh, connectivity uh, speeds of um, uh, metropolitan area network ranger uh, ranges in terms of megabit uh, per second it is hard to design and maintain a uh, 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 disadvantages is it's hard to design and maintain a metropolitan area network because you need uh, technical support that will be able to go on these areas at the same time if the problem is more on a uh, uh, hardwired devices so you need really to configure it physically and you could not uh, solve it if you cannot solve it remotely using uh, uh, the remote access so you will go to the location now uh, this uh, example is uh, if this is a university university campus so it is uh, uh, having a local area network in the campus and also the same as with the office building so if uh, you are connected to a metropolitan so you have a wide range of uh, platform and wide range of uh, network connections and uh, also likewise if you have a uh, smart and globe in a city in a big city so like Bacolod city that would be a metropolitan area network but if you have only like a uh, Kamsi Alihis that is a local area network now for the gov government building so it's also used uh, metropolitan area networks so that they could connect to another uh, government services and uh, uh, hospitals and other services available for the community Now for the wide area network, or uh, it's a computer network that extends over a large geographical area, although it might be confined within the bounds of the state or a country, a WAN uh, or WAN 
could be a connection of LAN connecting to another uh, local area network via telephone lines or and radio waves and may be limited to an enterprise, a corporation, or an organization. Likewise, uh, what is an example of a wide area network? Anybody? Example of a wide area network. So it covers a large geographical area. So, in reference to this example, example, we have a smart uh, corporation. So, there will be a tower, communication tower on each, and it is connected to the control center. And this control center controls the, or manages the operation of the towers uh, wirelessly. Yeah, either using microwave or uh, another medium. And also there is a, uh, a spectrum uh, broker that will uh, limit the usage of each uh, tower. And this uh, tower will uh, distribute the, uh, the signal to each uh, residence or businesses in the area so this is not really a very uh, uh, this drawing is just uh, an example but in actual scenario it's going to be a big uh, plan for all of the towers so meaning one uh, maybe for example one uh, house is equivalent to one uh, residential community and also Likewise, one tower can be about uh, two towers equivalent. So in this case, uh, if we have a wide area network, uh, Okay, sorry, I'm just going to... Okay, uh, can you see my slide on wide area network? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, so a while ago we were talking about a wide area network. This is having a high coverage area. So like uh, PLDT, Smart, Globe, and uh, D2 uh, networks. Also uh, like uh, telco uh, companies like uh, GMA also is a corporation, is a wide area network and ABS-CBN. Now, how do we uh, process data in a... Uh, internet so in order for the data to be processed it must be uh, under the open system interconnection reference model of the international standards organization it is uh, primarily a architect architectural model for the communications between computer systems many components of the osi model exist in all communication system the OSI defines the uh, typical networking system architecture in seven layers. So we have the physical layer. Uh, this is unspecified physical address. 
Example of physical layer. What do you think are example of physical layer? So physical layers are like your cable, Wi-Fi, what else? Your Ethernet. Router, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, router, we are going to have it in a data link, possibly. A physical layer more on the cable or the and uh, cable and uh, other uh, physical devices. So for uh, routers, so routers can be on the network and data link layer. And uh, uh, this is the first layer, physical layer, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh. So these are also discussed in your network one, I think. And uh, computer network uh, sits uh, between uh, different network networks or application we call the gateway. The gateway converts the information data and other communication from one protocol or format to another. A router, uh, a router perform one of the functions of the gateway, which uh, the router, uh, what's the purpose of the router? So it helps the gateway to uh, convert information and direct or provide direction for the data to transfer. An internet gateway uh, can transfer communications between an enterprise uh, network and uh, internet. So internet gateway uh, is the one who uh, transfer communication between enterprise network and the internet. We have also the domain name system. Uh, this is the phone book of the internet. So humans access uh, information online through a uh, domain name uh, uh, system. Uh, why? What will happen if you have DNS error? in your web in your web if you open a website and you encounter dns error what is the er what uh, can you see on the page yeah connect sir so error connecting the, the, page, the page is not displayed or uh, it says that uh, dns uh, error uh, not found an address not found or cannot load uh, this information so the web browsers interact through uh, internet protocol addresses and uh, the main job of uh, DNS is to uh, translate uh, domain names to IP address so that browsers can load internet resources. So if uh, we don't have DNS, we cannot uh, translate uh, the domain names to IP addresses. So that's how important uh, DNS is in the uh, internet protocol or in the open system interconnection. Now we will have sh just a short review on uh, uh, these uh, cables. I think you have this on your network one, right? You encountered this uh, laboratory in network one. This is a basic cabling. Yes, sir. So, uh, what is the difference between uh, straight through and uh, crossover cable? So, straight through. So, uh, we have uh, pin one. Uh, pin 2 and pin 3 and what is the other basis and we have uh, uh, this uh, pin 6 so straight through meaning all of the wires are having the same orientation uh, usually uh, straight 
uh, through cables are uh, primarily used for connecting unlike devices such as uh, switch to router and while crossover cables are used to uh, connect alike devices. Now for a crossover, uh, we have uh, this uh, difference. So before we have uh, We have orange stripe. Now we have uh, orange stripe, and this was uh, interchange on the other end. It's not the same now. This also becomes orange, and uh, and uh, green stripe also was uh, changed and orange. So you have. Uh, about uh, one, two, three, four, four changes for crossover network. Usually a uh, crossover cable can uh, connect uh, two devices without the presence of router. Even modern uh, broadband router have logic which recognize them and which uh, permits to work on all devices. So it doesn't mean that if you have crossover, you could not use it to other devices because there are a modern router now that they could just say, ah, this is reverse, so this is the correct uh, orientation 